Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Mikulowski from ForexLaw.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus yen. It's an updated look uh, from the morning report. What has happened? Uh, well, we're seeing the dollar move up back to the downside after initially moving higher. We'll see where we stand from a technical perspective now. Right, we're looking at the hourly chart. And uh, you know what you notice is that uh, the price is uh, largely going sideways uh, of late. Uh, lots of uh, up and down price action. And uh, in between sits the 100 and 200 hour moving average. Just blue and green line in these charts. And uh, the price moved above that um, those two moving averages on Monday's trade. And has been able to stay above those levels uh, since that time. Today's low price uh, for the day in the Asian session came and, and held support against those moving averages right here and pushed higher. And the high price moved up and got within a couple pips of the high price that we saw in last week's trading at the 151.967 level and found willing sellers against that level uh, that, that was uh, helped to buy the uh, move to that side was helped by. Uh, some uh, weaker than expected ISAM data that set the dollar back to the downside yields moving lower uh, and, and the such and uh, the price had moved back down toward our rising 100 hour moving average so what next well uh, the 100 and 200 hour moving average remains uh, the a key barometer for both buyers and sellers uh, so as we go into the new trading day if the price were to hold support above it it's more bullish if the price moves below those levels then the bias would shift more to the downside and then we start to look toward this swing area and it goes back further by the way there's other levels going back here but the, this uh, swing high was a uh, pretty good ceiling area before the market moved lower and then we moved up above that level found support here and moved higher we traded above and below the level through here but then re-established uh, support against the level here and moved higher and uh, we haven't been around uh, been at that level since that time so if we break below the 100 200 we'll probably look toward this low right here then look toward this uh, swing area right through here and if we get below that level it opens the door for further selling pressure with the 50 percent of the last move to the upside as the next key target uh, if we took the fibonacci down here then we start to look at other levels along the way retracing levels on the top side uh, we're talking about the highs uh here and here that the price needs to get through those highs uh, are roughly correspond with uh, other highs going back to 2022 and 2023 this high came in at the 151.94 this high came in at 151.91 and uh we saw the high price uh, again for this month coming at 96 and uh, uh we hit at 94 today uh, 151.94 so uh lots of different highs up there uh near the 151.91 to 96.7 level and if we break above that level then uh, this uh, pair is trading at the highest level going back to 1990. So uh, don't discount a break above that level uh, uh, when you reach a over three decade new high price. But it happened last week when the price moved two pips above the old high and failed. So you never know, but we want to see a break above that level with momentum to uh, take the price higher to new levels. Uh, if it doesn't uh, do that, then uh, look for a rotation back to the downside. So there you have it, my updated look at the dollar versus yen as we head into the new trading day. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.